did want to follow up on a story that we brought you late last night uh, for an update on what is a very tragic story we first told you about last night, uh, an apparent murder-suicide on the campus uh, of Rice University. An investigation is now underway after a female student was found dead inside of her dorm room by authorities on the first day of class. Class was canceled just yesterday. It was canceled again, all activities on campus there. We want to get an update on this story uh, with our friend there at Fox 26 Houston. Uh, that's, of course, reporter Leslie dellis -Bohr. She joins me with more uh, on this very tragic story. Leslie, thanks for being with us here. What more do we know one day later? Yeah, one day later, I can tell you that a junior here at Rice University who transferred in the spring of 2024 from Nottingham, Maryland, is now dead at the hands of domestic violence. The Rice campus is in shock. The Rice administrators have to calm the students and tell them they're safe. The parents have to fly in from out of state to retrieve their dead child. A shocking discovery left Rice University at a standstill after junior Andrea Rodriguez Avila from Nottingham, Maryland was found dead in her dorm at Jones Hall Monday by the hands of someone she was dating in what police are describing as a murder-suicide. His name has not yet been released, but the school says their relationship dates back to Avila's time in Maryland. Something trauma therapist Chow Wen says is common for a lot of young people. There needs to be more talk about what is a good relationship, what is not a what is bad relationship, what is healthy, what is not healthy, what is toxic, and 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 sadly and ultimately what is dangerous. Rice University released information Tuesday saying that Rodriguez Avila was studying political science on the pre-law track here and she came to Rice from the Community College of Baltimore County. During her time at both the Community College and Rice, she was active in multiple student and honor society organizations. Something Wynn says is sad to know a woman with such a bright future had it taken from her so fast. Advocating for friends, classmates and family to speak up if you know anyone who is in a domestic violence situation. If you're a friend and you're listening and you see some unhealthy behaviors, call it out. Tell them that they have support, that they can get support. There's so many resources now to navigate relationships that, you know, people don't have to do it alone. And unfortunately, in this case, you know, she suffered. She's gone. Now, I mentioned that she was active in many organizations during her time in school. And to name a few, take a look at your screen. At the Community College of Baltimore County, she was a part of the College-Wide Student Programming Board, Multicultural Student Association, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and First Year Experience Mentor Program. While at Rice, she was involved in the Rice Student Association, a peer academic advisor, and the Rice University Honor Council. Reporting live from Rice University, Leslie Delaspore, Fox News. News. Leslie, I just had a few uh, follow-up questions for you. Were you able to get on campus today and walk around? If not, though, how is the campus community doing uh, one day afterward? Have you spoken to any students or faculty? Classes were canceled here today, and we were not actually allowed on campus, but we saw some students maybe coming in and out of the gates here today, and so far the campus seems pretty pretty quiet, pretty much at a standstill. I think everyone is mourning the loss of someone in the OWL community here in Houston. All right, Leslie, uh, thanks so much for bringing us an update on such a tragic story. We'll check in if there are any more details. Thanks so much. All right, in the meantime here, we did want to uh, put up on your screen for you uh, just more and more reaction, more statements coming uh, from the Rice University community. Uh, I want to put this up. This uh, is from uh, Rice University, a statement, uh, and they say this, that uh, Rice University police responded to a welfare check this afternoon and found junior Andrea Rodriguez Avila deceased in her Jones College room along with an unidentified male with a self-inflicted gunshot wound who is not a member of the Rice community. Uh, this is a heartbreaking, devastating incident, and it is important to recognize that this loss will affect our close-knit community in the days and weeks ahead. Uh, this is a statement that goes on to say, in moments like these, our strength, care, and resilience as a community 
are most important than ever. Please take care of yourselves and each other. Let us honor Andrea's memory by coming together in unity and compassion with deepest sympathy, President Reginald DeRoche. Uh, you heard there from Rice University President on camera yesterday in that very late and very brief update uh, that the press got. It was about five minutes. We brought you that uh, last night as well. So. Uh, a very, very sad story, sad update uh, to start off this hour here. Uh, and so we're going to be checking in with Fox 26 uh, in Houston if there are any more updates to this story. Uh, and we've seen uh, that this is being described as an apparent murder-suicide. We still don't know many details uh, about the other individual uh, who police told us uh, took his own life in a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Uh, hardly any details uh, on his background coming out, all we know is uh, he was not a student and he was not authorized to be in that part of campus in that dorm at, at the time, uh, kind of alluding to the fact that uh, his uh, acquaintance there uh, and possibly girlfriend Avila uh, did let him in, in into that dorm room. So classes were canceled yesterday, classes canceled yet again today, and we'll stay up to speed on this story.